Trucli filled with cottage cheese. They're homely, delicious, and comforting. Strava, I'm Adrian, and welcome to my Slovenian kitchen. You're going to need sugar, flour, salt, sour cream, cottage cheese or ricotta cheese, one egg, oil, and some butter. And one more package of cottage cheese. Optional ingredients, vanilla extract, cinnamon, raisins, and one more egg. So in a bowl, crack an egg. Half a teaspoon of salt. This is a quarter, so I'm gonna do two. Two tablespoons of oil. You can put any oil in, I just like olive oil. One cup of warm water, and this is important, the water has to be warm. And mix it all together. Now add four cups of flour. It doesn't have to be totally mixed, but just a little bit mixed. Three. So I put in half on the final one. And the other half I'm going to put here. This whole thing down here. Flour it. Everything. So just gently fold and try to get that flour, as much flour as it'll take. So gently fold to make a ball. Now take some oil. I want to cover up this ball with oil. And I'll put it in a bowl. Cover it and let it rest for 30 minutes. In the meantime, make your filling. To start off, take a package of cottage cheese. Drained, and we're gonna put it in here now. Add two tablespoons of sugar. If you like a vanilla taste, put in one teaspoon of vanilla. I don't, so I'm not going to. And if you like raisins, you could put half a cup of raisins in them. I'm not going to. Sprinkle with flour. Flour your rolling pin. And cut your ball in half. Save this for I'm going to roll this out. your hands. So your hands are really oily, it doesn't stick. You take this and you start stretching it. Now you can do it the old pizza fashion or you can do it from the middle. So you hold down the middle and you stretch. Hold down the middle and stretch. So when you stretch it so thin that you can see your fingers through it, you know you're good. If you do get a break, just pinch it. Cinnamon, remember my optional thing, you don't have to do this, but I like it. I just sprinkle it on. Brush the edges with melted butter. Roll it, we're gonna start it off like this. And then we're gonna take this tablecloth and we just lift it. Rolls. Pinch off the ends because that was the rough part. So I'm still gonna use my fingers and just my cookie sheet with a little bit of oil. Just put it on. Ah. Gonna go like this and kind of a little bit of pre-cut so you can see, but not all the way through. Roll out your second one and make the filling. I like variations like the raisins. Brush with sour cream. Bake in the oven for 40 minutes until golden brown. Sprinkle with icing sugar. And now for the ultimate test.
ultimate in comfort food.